Hey, this is Blind Fox, and welcome at my Russian review. Please support the channel, please subscribe, and please go and donate on Patreon.com. So today we are going to do our breakfast portion of the French RCIR menu number two, packed in 2020, expires in 2023. So there's a lot of food in this ration and a lot of little or, or little foods or little packages, which is nice because you can literally arrange it any way you like, eat some at one place and not eat all. For example, these little bars, they are so small so you can sort of eat one now, eat one later. I think this one is the uh, coffee bar. Yep. This one I can't really see what it is, so it's a mystery bar. It almost feels the same as those uh, fruit bars, you know, those with the little the sugar in that uh, sort of a jelly, jello, very thick jelly, jello bar, depending if you are English or of American. We're going to do the uh, what is this? The plum jam. We're going to do one cup of coffee. And we're going to taste the hot chocolate and of course we're going to mix our coffee with our chocolate again because sometimes your um, hot chocolate is a bit sweet for me. We're going to do the cereal biscuits because we I li don't like the jam on the salty biscuits. And if you remember the previous ration, you can see here, totally different ration. Or the box anyway, or the, the packaging. This is the uh, muesli, chocolate muesli. And I'm going to use uh, cold water because I'm not really a fan of um, hot water. And this contains quite a lot of uh, 412 kcal. So nice uh, meal. And then there's all of the other stuff. So I'm going to mix this with cold water. You can use hot water. but th Because there is sort of little chocolate chips in there that can melt. I don't know if I've always used hot water. I don't think I've used hot water in the past. Let's just see what they say. Okay, I've read actually the instructions and they don't say to add hot water. So we are not going to add hot water just because they don't say to do so. But of course you could. And it's 100 ml. So I'll go and mix everything and we will see how this tastes. Right, let's taste some. Now we are going to do the chocolate muesli. They say to add cold water, so I didn't add hot, but you can add hot water. But you see there, the chocolate did melt a bit anyway in your uh, milk or in the water. So you get nice little chocolate milk. These little chocolate crunchy balls and these little chocolate chips. I haven't read what's in here all, but definitely you taste the chocolate. There's the chocolate chips. There's a slight little crunchy little balls. Very small little balls. Taste chocolatey. And you taste grain. I know my mom don't like these uh, these um, muesli's because she says it says or say, say yeah say, she says it tastes raw. But what you act, it, it actually is is the you get that grain natural taste, which is well I like it. And it's quite nice. Just to take away the sweetness, let's do the coffee. Nice. Very much coffee-ish. So we'll do the chocolate or chocolate next. It's sweet, chocolate. And don't add too much water. Very to me it's a bit sweet, so that's why I like to add the coffee. You get the more coffee taste now, very chocolatey. Sort of a mocha taste, which is nice. So then let's, let's do, let's taste some more stuff. And we've got the uh, jam. Nice. Sweet, but not really soury. I can't really explain it or describe it, but it's a nice sweetish fruity taste. Here we've got our cereal biscuit. Crunchy. A sweetish taste. It's nice, it's sweet, crunchy, 
course it's just this little sweet biscuit you really need the jam sort of to, to um, it does overwhelm the biscuit but it's a good thing you still get the light biscuit taste sweetness of the jam it's very nice so our mystery um, very soft it smells fruity almost banana like this is sort of a banana cereal bar I actually would mark it better not in this little shiny package because you really can't see it and because a lot of people is allergic to banana I would really mark this better cereal crunch get that banana taste almost I would say it's more a dried banana than it is though the banana flavoring not bad actually better than some of the fried bananas but it's very much similar taste and you get that cereal structure almost a refreshing bar it's not a really um, heavy bar now we've got our coffee bar and I just can't break it very coffee it almost tastes like if you have got cereal and you throw some coffee on there very much the same taste crunchy you get a cereal structure if you think about those sesame bars you know those triple decker sesame bars you get and you just replace the sweetness with coffee almost the same structure just you don't have the sesame seeds you have very very fine pieces of cereal you do get the cereal aftertaste here with both of the bars and the taste isn't the coffee taste here isn't overwhelmingly strong but you do know you are eating coffee there's no weird aftertaste so far it's just sort of a cereally coffee aftertaste quite nice I'm actually glad I chose these for breakfast very much breakfasty bars and I think I think we've tasted everything so what do I think about all of this the, the cereal um, biscuits was nice it's sweet it's not too dry but the, the jam I think goes well with it I don't like the jam with the salty biscuits because you do get that salty taste going through the jam which I don't like I wouldn't put the jam on the on the chocolatey biscuits because then it will I think be too sweet the chocolatey biscuits I think is good enough to eat on its own but we will taste that later the cereal bar the banana cereal bar you do taste banana it tastes a lot like um, those fried banana chips those hard stuff you get in muesli or you're normally in your tropical muesli not really the the fake banana flavoring the coffee taste you taste the coffee taste you also taste the cereal taste nice and crunchy the jam was nice it's not a overwhelmingly flavored jam jam but it's not i don't know it's not as sweet as peach jam or as uh, sour as apricot jam it's sort of an in-between jam between those two type of flavors coffee nice nice coffee and then we get our chocolate or chocolate with the outer coffee it's very nice it's sweet you mustn't put in too much water or else it just goes bland it is nice it's a sweet hot chocolate it's not as milky as the stuff we are used to but it's not bad I actually like this French hot chocolate with the coffee in it gets a nice mocha taste And this coffee and the hot chocolate does go well nicely i have had somewhere it doesn't can't remember which one was it the i think it was the english ration the coffee and hot chocolate didn't go together nicely can't remember i think it was the english i'm not sure anyway but this does go i had it i can't remember which ration anyway and our muesli nice graining there's enough seeds in here enough crunchiness to still be crunchy after it stood a while and this has been standing for a while now so this is our um, French RCIR menu number two packed in 2020 expires in 2023 I really wish I could get more French rations and some of the 
other rations, but it's a bit expensive. That's why I do my re review sort of in four parts because it's really expensive to get the stuff here. But it's really nice. I like the French stuff. So far, this ration has been quite nice. And I couldn't find a spoon. That's why I'm using this spoon and not the little one. I couldn't find a spoon in the uh, accessories. I will go through the accessories again, but I just couldn't find a spoon in that box. So, I do have the other spoon, I think, of the pre previous ration, which I might just use with lunch and dinner to see if you can actually eat with that spoon. But, yeah. So, thanks for watching this lovely review. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. So, see you at my next ration. And if you can get the French ration, do so. It's nice.